Raincoats? What are you talking about, raincoats? Well, when the weather's like this, raincoats are really important. Not just for people, most boaties, yachties, cruisers, whatever, wear their fell weather gear. Uh, actually, I have some really lightweight stuff that works, and it's not so heavy and clunky. But other things need raincoats too. Important raincoats on the boat is this one right here. Now that's kind of strange looking, right? It's just a flat piece of sunbrella type fabric. But inside it holds this. And what this is, is my teller pilot my autopilot, my one and only. I don't have one of those kinds that hooks to the uh, directly to the rudder post through the quadrant or separate tiller arm. In that area of my boat there really is no room to install that kind of an autopilot. Plus of course those things are really expensive. Good old tiller pilot I think the first one I bought was down around $300. Of course, now they've nearly doubled in price over the years. This is the Simrad TP-10, the most basic uh, <clears throat> tiller pilot, autopilot, that you can get, and also the least expensive, to the best of my knowledge. And what I did about that was take a piece of umbrella fabric just a simple rectangle. It's got a grommet there in the one corner. That's where the locator pin for the unit itself pokes through that. And what I did is in this area, which is directly over the keypad, I put another layer of umbrella fabric glued down with contact cement. So that's two layers of fabric plus the contact cement in between. Really makes it waterproof. This is this uh, strip of the male Velcro, and on this edge, this is a strip of female Velcro. So what it does is it makes a raincoat. Well, you might say to yourself, wait a minute, Fred. These, uh, color pilots are designed to be waterproof well I say good luck with that waterproof proof means if you dunk this thing in the water it will continue to function properly and never ever leak so I would call this highly water resistant but not waterproof And the reason I know that for sure is because perhaps the very first one I bought and used, after some time it malfunctioned and I couldn't figure out why. The electrical connections on the outside all were good, but when I took the case apart, which is very well sealed, it splits right along this line and there's a rubber one-piece gasket that goes all the way around that seam. And presumably on this end where the actuating arm comes through, there's some kind of an O-ring or something. So you say, how in the world does the water get in there? Well, I'm here to tell you that it, <clears throat> mine, when it finally gave up working, was about a third full of water, which eventually caused a massive corrosion inside the unit, and that's why it stopped working. So, there's no holes in it anywhere. The locking pin is actually sealed on the outside of the case. This, of course, is flexible, so you can uh, get it lined up properly. There's a nice grommet on the power cord. Shouldn't get any water in there. And while I'm not sure that looks like a vent, it's not. It's some kind of reinforcement in the plastic itself. So I was in quite a quandary for a long time until I 
figured out that what's causing the problem is if the tiller pilot is in use and it's exposed in any way to weather what happens is in this area here and here on the call button if any water even do stands on this what happens is when the tiller pipe uh, pilot goes through in daily usage or normal heating and cooling cycle cycle of course under operating conditions it's going to gener generate a little heat from the motor operating in there the electronics is not very sophisticated I don't think that generates a great deal of heat but the thing is black and it sits out there in the Sun cooking away heating up nicely all day long and then as the Sun goes down and things start to cool off of course what it does is it creates a vacuum inside as the air inside condenses and if there's any water standing here by these buttons there's a rubber membrane behind this which is supposed to be like a big seal for the buttons uh, the button the buttons actually push a button on the PC board uh, they don't contact it directly it pushes this button this button these buttons all push on the rubber membrane which in turn pushes on the buttons located in the circuit board but when it condenses the unit cools down it creates a vacuum partial inside the case and if there's any standing water here it sucks the water into the case at least that's what I think happens I don't know for sure so in one of my ambitious moods many years ago I decided well got to do something about that the locator pin on the autopilot fits quite handily through a number two spur grommet how about that and it just sits in there like that and then I take and wrap the raincoat around it and seal it along the edge where the velcro is and so I have a very nice highly water resistant and partially waterproof rain jacket for my autopilot since I've started using those or this one on my autopilot no more autopilot failure that's great and there it is mounted in place ready to go to work